News 6 is also looking back to see where we were that day. So we sent Clay Lepard to dig through the archives. He put together a scrapbook of space flight through the eyes of her station. Nine, eight, from its infancy seven, to today, we've all watched the Space Coast leave its signature across the sky and lift off with a line aimed in the direction of wonder. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. For tonight on Channel 6 News, each step along the way, good evening, everybody. News 6 has been there. From Newswatch 6. To capture that bright, burning light in the sky. Good evening, everyone. America's Discoverer 9 satellite launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base today. Here he is, a hero of the free world, Lieutenant Colonel John H. Glenn, Jr. I'm standing beneath the Columbia and its hangar at Kennedy Space Center. It all began in the 1960s. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. And quickly, News 6 separated itself. And until then, no launches. Tonight on 6. Understanding where the next stage of space could go. With the recent successful Telstar satellite launch, WDBO-TV was the only Florida TV station there to report it. We are the first station in the world to show these films. From there, those who dared to dream achieved unbelievable heights. The eagle has landed. The world watched as many traveled to central Florida. An estimated one million persons were on hand to view the dramatic Apollo 10 launch. But those dreams turned into nightmares, like in 1986 and 2003. Columbia, the international research mission, finally underway. When the space shuttle Challenger exploded and space shuttle Columbia disintegrated. The Columbia's lost. There are no survivors. Yet how we handle loss makes a big difference. As the Space Coast evolved into the epicenter of private space programs. And lift off. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Everybody here reacting all the same, though, that universal language that rockets bring us. So it only seems fitting, as we look to the future of space flight, that we remember the words from the past. It's an age of miracles that we live in. An age that keeps on beginning here at Cape Canaveral. Words that still apply nearly 60 years later. It's the biggest continuing news story we have. And Channel 6 News intends to stick with it. Leila Pard getting results, News 6.